to really gain from this country, it is better to, it's better to have a Chinese passport. When it comes to people who own big businesses in the country, you'll find ways to accommodate them. You'll find ways to accommodate hotel hoteliers. You'll find people want to come here in the country and invest in things. You'll find ways to give them land for free for, for at 99 US dollars per acre for 99 years. You'll find all kinds of ways to flip and backflip for people from overseas and people with big money. But when it comes to a small puff, a, puff, a farmer or somebody who does not have means, you always want to come with punishment. Impound their cows, make them pay fees, make them pay licenses. Always, you're the only way that it seems like you all can think. But when it comes to your own people, no matter how educated your people think you all are, when it comes to your own people, the only solution you all have is to find a way to make them suffer impound the animals. Now the Ministry of Agriculture people, I've told you before or I've suggested before and I'm going to tell you people again. It is not policy, it is not good policy that the only ideas that you all have to deal with stray animals is to come up with laws to impound animals. And the and the, and the, the worst thing is it is almost like there is a mentality that having cows around the place is somehow dangerous. Again, I am saying, many of you who have traveled, especially in places like England, there are places that, that you drive and then and there are signs saying cattle grazing and you know that when you reach these places, you have to be careful and let the cows pass. But then when it comes to St. Lucia, you all want to see no cows on the road. We know for, we for a fact that some of the people who, who own this cow can, cows can do better. We have lands, we have government lands. Instead of trying to come up with these laws to try to impound people animal, why don't you all first provide lands for people to graze cows? Charge a small maintenance fee, charge some maintenance fee. And because there's a place at Lakai um, around Fairview area what, that they have allocated for, um, for cattle grazing, have, so, have these things in different parts of St. Lucia where government lands are allocated for cattle grazing or private property is rented for cattle grazing and it is maintained. We have people in the country who went overseas to learn about animals and all of those things. But when they come in a position, they, mean, they, they always ponder to, pol to, to politicians. Wherever a politician it is that put that idea to impound people, animals, and the people that are professionals going around with, along with those things. You see, in other developed countries, people try to f find solutions to problems, accommodate their people. But in these countries, what we have is people, all the only thing they would do is to find ways and means to punish poor people, make them pay fines, make things happen to them. When it comes to people who own big businesses in the country, you'll find ways to accommodate them. You'll find ways to accommodate hotel hoteliers. You'll find people want to come here in the country and invest in things. You'll find ways to give them land for free for, for at 99 US dollars per acre for 99 years. You'll find all kinds of ways to flip and backflip for people from overseas and people with big money. But when it comes to a small puff, a, puff, a farmer or somebody who does not have means, you all always want to come with punishment. Impound their cows, make them pay fees, make them pay licenses. Always, you all, the only way that it seems like you all can think. But when it comes to your own people, no matter how educated your people think you all are, when it comes to your own people, the only solution you all have is to find a way to make them suffer. Impound their animals. Do this to them. Do that to them. Without trying anything to ameliorate the problems of the people. The fact that the animals coming on the road means that there is a problem. It may be that there is a land, 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 a land problem. Why not say, okay, we have some government lands. Let's allocate some lands to these people. And if after you have done that, you realize they still continue with the same problem, then you can start to impound. But you're putting nothing in place, and the only idea that can come to your head is to impound people's cows. The only time you can think of all creative things to benefit to um, people who make money from tourism, 
think of all creative ways to 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 to, to um, please hotel people and people with big businesses foreigners who come here with nothing and you will still give them money to invest in businesses in the country but when it comes to the poor people of the country the only solution you'll have for them is to impound their animals impound their cows and then you people want to behave like you're educated how is your education helping you how is your education helping you when the only thing you can think of doing for your own people is to is to to, to impound their animals to make them pay fees that's the most that's the most educated thing that you, that can come to your heads is to impound the animals of the people who do not have land but when it comes to people from overseas or people who own hotels you all think of all kinds of creative ideas concessions and all kind of thing but when it comes to the poor people impound their animals so your education is to try to imprison your own people, huh? punish them. But when it comes to be from people from other countries, your education is designed to give them concessions and to make life easier for them. That's the best plan you all have for the cows of these people. You all need to be very careful with those things that you all have, you all, that, that these things that you, you all are trying to do. So it seems like to really gain from this country, it is better, it's better to have a Chinese passport. You have a St. Lucian passport, it's trouble for you if you don't have money. But if you have a Chinese passport and you come here, they give you all kind of... If, you, if, I, if these people were Chinese, say a Chinese man come here and he wants to get into cow, cow production, the government of St. Lucia will look for land for him and make sure they give him enough acres of land to get all his cows. But for the local persons, the best idea they have is to impound the cows of the people. Impound the cows. Be, people be careful be careful people don't do that use your education to benefit your people not to fight against your people and create opportunities for people from overseas if that's how you want to go your education is useless it would have been better if you could not even read word